Today's proclamation of the Word of God is in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. Thus says the Lord, Curse is the man who trusts in man, and makes, and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out their roots by the river. And it will not fear when he comes, but its leaf will green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it. I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. The word of the Lord. Please stand for our responsorial psalm. Psalm 1. Let our response be, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord altogether. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the paths of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Response. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Response. The ungodly are not so, but are like chaff which the winds drives away. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Response. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, The, the Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke chapter 16. Glory to you, Lord Christ. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and paired Substantially every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the doves came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angel to Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And being in torment and hides, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in the bosom. They cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that they may dip the tip of his finger in water and call thy petang, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things and likewise Lazarus' able things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fix, so that those who want to pass from there to you, to you cannot, nor can those from here pass to us. Then he said, I beg you, therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers, that he may come to this place of torment. Abraham said to him, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if, if one goes to them from the dead, they will, de they will repent. But he said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither they will 
persuaded the one who rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Please be seated. In a reflection this morning, here once again, the Lord emphasizing to us our obedience to God. Our obedience to God and in His Word. No? Now, here in this passage, about a kitang bunga ma, mabuo, lot of spiritual values. But what I want to emphasize is here that our obedience to God is very, very important. Obedience in every area of our life. Now, kung niyo tan awon dika, there was a rich man. This rich man is uh, is always uh, he had everything, and there was Lazarus was in his gate. In his gate. Hmm? There was a, a poor person in his gate. And it's not something that natamaan uh, lang. But uh, it was laid. Una, kita imaw. So it means to say he's there. He was laid there so that he could ask or maybe uh, he could be helped by this rich man. And the rich man did not. And he died. So first of all, sometimes in life we are not all the same. No? May mangaranon, there are some rich people and poor people. And not all are, would, would say, uh, privileged, not an Others are not much privileged. But one thing for sure, there's one thing that equal. Death. Everyone. Rich man or poor man who have it. It's on time to die. But one emphasis here is this, that the time of death, then if the story goes that the rich man is in the other side, he was tormented, and poor Lazarus, he visited Abraham. In the other side, he's well care of there. Like we say, he was in heaven, and this rich man is in earth. I uh, in the is in hell, and he said, "Father Abraham, uh, I was here." And she said, "You have all you have when you are in your lifetime." And Lazarus was you know, had nothing, but he but he right now he's taking care of here. So first of all. Everyone has own time to face death, rich or poor. And I said, not all are the same, rich man or poor. But in the same, there is, first of all, also death. And the second is opportunity. Everyone is equal in opportunity. The rich man has an opportunity to be a blessing to this poor person. And it is not an accident because he always sees the poor man in his gate. It means to say it's not an accident, no coincidence. It is God's plan that that poor man will be in your gate so that he would be your object of giving, of mercy, of compassion. That's why every day in our life, there's always person or whatever situation that come to pass. It's not an accident. It's not an incident. It is a God's prepared plan for us, an opportunity to apply the word of God. And this time, this rich man did not really help even to give something to this poor man. So, it also connotes us that when we see it already, when we hear it already, we are now responsible to that because we know it already. And every day he sees that poor man at the gate, but he did, he did not do anything to help that poor man, to give something. And when they both died, Lazarus is in the, with Abraham on the other side, and this rich man is in the other side, in Western hell. It doesn't mean also that rich man will go to hell and poor man will always go to heaven. That's not the message here. 
poor man also go to hell, rich man also goes to heaven. It's up to us. But the thing is, we have all the opportunity. What we do with the opportunity the Lord has given unto us. Because what is one of the basis of the judgment of God? Ano atong ginhimo? Then he said, uh, Father Abraham, send somebody. Send somebody in my house to tell my brothers to, to obey or to do what they have to do so that they will not come here. No, they have their Moses. They have their all the prophets. No, 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 he said, that somebody comes from the, from the dead. They would believe. They would believe. Will come, somebody come from the dead and told them? But Abraham said, said, uh, if they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they persuade it, though one would, would rise from the dead. If you will not hear Moses and other prophets, they will, not, they will not hear somebody from the dead. How is it to us? If you not hear the word of God here right now, from the pulpit or what we have read, we will not also believe if somebody came from death. One thing for sure, Jesus Christ died and rise from the dead. Are we obeying him? Are we obeying him? He said, they would believe if somebody came from dead, from, the, from, here, from here, from death, would rise from the dead and go to them. They would believe. Jesus died and rise from the dead. Are we believing in him? That's the question. That's why Moses said, they will not believe. So, brothers and sisters, we have all now the opportunity to believe in Jesus. We have now the opportunity to hear. Everything is equal. Everyone could hear. Everyone could see. Everyone could read. But not everyone would obey. Not everyone would follow Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, remind us, today it is our time. Yesterday is gone. Today is what we have. Tomorrow is still coming. So today, we we'll choose to believe God, obey God, and fulfill what the Lord has done, had uh, called us to do. Today is the opportunity to do and obey God. Today is the day of salvation. We will not procrastinate. Every situation that comes to our uh, in front of us, it is an opportunity where we could apply the word of God. Every day, there's always Lazarus in front of us. Lazarus does only does something, the money asks money from us. An opportunity, once again, to share the word of God. Opportunity to do what things have to do for God. Every day, there's always a Lazarus in front of us. What we are doing with that.